Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. We're back today with another edition of Twitter Quick Hits, a breakdown of all the latest news and rumors from around the Twitterverse. First up, a note I missed from Elliot Friedman's 31 Thoughts the other day. Commissioner Bettman mentioned the possibility of a Heritage Classic next March. The last time this was on the radar for Canada, Edmonton was the desired city. The Oilers hosted the first one, and it's their time once again. It would be awesome to see Edmonton host another Heritage Classic. Many forget that it all started in Edmonton. I didn't attend the first one, but might have to freeze my butt off for the next one if it happens. A couple notes too on goaltending. I released my new goalie targets video yesterday. Please check it out if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comments. I made a few omissions though. Elliot Friedman had this in 31 Thoughts. Goaltending situation to watch. Will Carolina qualify Alex Nedeljkovic? I cannot say that name. It seems crazy to ask, but there are rumors the Hurricanes are not crazy about his arbitration award potential. I'm not always good with comparables, but Vancouver's extension with Thatcher Demko put his last two non-UFA seasons at $2.5 million and $4.5 million, including a $1 million signing bonus. Sounds like the Hurricanes are playing hardball. They just do not like spending money in Carolina. Of course, everyone could have had Alex for free last year off waivers. Pretty sure that's happened a few times, including with Jordan Bennington in St. Louis. Never overlook the waiver wire. Hat tip to Nathan Grin in the comments for pointing out that I missed a big target in Vitek Vanasek from the Washington Capitals. Vanasek is a very promising young prospect, and the Capitals are in danger of possibly losing him in expansion to the Seattle Kraken. He signed for one more year at just a $716,667 cap hit. Definitely another name for us to keep an eye on. Kurt Levins posted his latest Nine Things article at the Cult of Hockey. He picks Zach Hyman, Taylor Hall, Alex Kalorn, and Thomas Tatar as his targets of interest. I think it comes down to Hyman or Tatar for the Oilers. There's always that outside chance of Hall, though, if they can't reach a deal in Boston. Levins also continues the push that Duncan Keith would be a great addition for the Oilers. I agree, as long as it's the right price. We've talked about Keith to death, so let's just see if it happens at this point. Lastly, the Two Mutts podcast put out these two tweets yesterday. The Anaheim Ducks and Ryan Getzloff have agreed to terms on a contract extension according to a source. It's believed to be a one-year deal around $3 million. And don't be surprised if you see Taylor Hall signs with the Edmonton Oilers for seven years around $5 million. Don't take either of these as gospel. Joshua Marshall claims to have lots of scoops, but I don't recall seeing any of them pan out. Although I would say <clears throat> Ryan Getzloff signing in Anaheim is most likely and Taylor Hall is a possibility for the Oilers. That's all for today, guys. Enjoying the videos? Please like and subscribe for all the latest Oilers content. You've been listening to The Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.